Hello, this is Sudha Karma Parthi. Today, I'm going to talk about uh, how to learn itself. So, uh, all these days we've been uh, demonstrating the C1, C2 diagrams uh, using EC2, S3, AWS services. So, today, I'm going to talk about uh, how to learn itself. So basically, um, I want you to watch this video. I'll put a link to this. What this guy is saying is don't memorize when you are learning something. You know, don't memorize. Just go multiple passes. Learn in multiple passes. So these two video links uh, I'm going to put, uh, I, I thought uh, that would be worth uh, for every uh, user of Skillback. Um, I'm going to share those links in the description. So the summary of what this guy is saying is uh, that uh, when you encounter a new word, you know, it takes a while to get familiarized with it itself. And then after encountering that word a few times, then the brain will automatically will adjust and then, you know, it will remember. So you don't have to really struggle. So for example, EC2, we have all kinds of new words, network interface, public subnet, private subnet, subnet, you know, key pair, store, instance store volume, back block store volume, all kinds of new thing is there. New things are there. So I try to create a different, different C1, C2 diagrams for each of these concepts. Now I have imported those C1, C2 diagrams into the skill bank app. Now they're available. And we also integrated with the uh, uh, chat GPT. So we have, now we can ask questions. What are different AWS instance type families? So I ask this question, get AI chat response. So I got this answer. What AWS instance type to be used for a Windows web server for heavy reads from a database and format it into HTML and send it to the browser? Not much local hard disk access. All data comes from the RDS or our database. So it's a typical skill bank type of application. You know, I just described. So I said, I asked it, what is the correct uh, suggested thing? So it said the M5 instances are optimized for compute intensity. So you can ask all kinds of questions to understand the knowledge. So it's very helpful for all you out there who are trying to get into cloud computing or any other subject for that matters. But I want to demonstrate the power of Skill Bank app using AWS cloud computing. Uh, what else I want to talk? So, so what I do is, you know, basically, I log in and then all these all these uh, entities, instance type, uh, RAM, vCPU, each one of them is an entity and there is there are relations and that's what uh, we've been um, drawing. For example, let me draw. So I have an object and this is the class generally I put in here. And then any important things like, uh, uh, let's say T3 dot extra large instance type. This is the instance type. Instance type. Okay, so then it has uh, a relation you know, to something else. So let's see what else we have here. Okay, in this case, uh, okay, M3 extra large, let's say M3 extra large, eight gigabytes of RAM, two vCPUs. Okay, so, so we can say, this is two vCPUs, these are the CPUs. And two vCPUs. Okay. So like that, 
uh, we can specify and draw this information in a in a categorical way. These are all classes and instance types. So I can have as many instance types as I want. And there are four, eight, 16, like that. So I can say this one has got a two, uh, four, and this one got 16, you know, different instance types. I can say I will uh, associate with VCPs. These are C1, C2. At a, at, a, at a highest level, everything is simple when you look at these kind of things, two at a time. So, and you don't have to remember all these words by a, a, uh, repeatedly um, memorizing. You know, just, just keep looking at these diagrams once in a while and uh, come here and then click and then this this word will get fired into your into your brain, and then this this word V V stands for virtual CPU. This word will get into your brain, and then a few times when you are associating uh, in different different contexts, so automatically after some time you will get comfortable. So that's all this is. That's why it is very important to draw and write and then connect like these kind of diagrams by yourself. So that when you write this name and this and this and then these four four names, and then then you know it'll it'll, it'll be automatically memorized. You don't have to struggle. So that's the essence for today's class. You know, I've been talking about C one C two diagrams for a long time. Now um, it is it has really helped me to understand any complex subject. It's not just cloud computing, not just technology, you know, biology, chemistry, you know, anything that I want to do research, you know, I can understand. So it's no, no big deal at all. Um, so I want you guys to master this kind of technique. And if you need any help and uh, want to have a discussion on how you can train a bunch of uh, users, a uh, group of people, I would be happy to conduct a seminar, webinar, whatnot. Get in touch with me. And uh, that's all I have for today. So good luck. Happy learning. Bye-bye.